Indian classical dance, physics, and the physicality of Indian dance. Uh, I was introduced to Indian classical dance at the age of three, and uh, I developed a passion for it, and I continued learning it throughout my life. And then when I was older, I got introduced to science, like most of you, and I developed a passion for physics. And I loved reading different books on physics. And every time I would be asked this question, and like we are all asked after 10th, uh, are you going to be an art student or are you going to be a science a student? And somehow we don't see uh, where art and science meet or where one would think if you are an art student, then you have no connection with science. And if you are a science student, you have no connection with arts. But in my life, I have seen and I have observed other experts in the field around me. And I have known that science is as, can be as creative as the arts. And the arts can be as creative uh, as science in it too. So this is my small adventure into this realm of physics and comparing it with my experience in classical dance. So when you talk about Indian dance and some physics and some physicality, the three things that come to my mind at least are the idea of balance, which is there in physics, and the idea of motion or stillness, like the idea of moving in dance and the idea of stillness and motion in physics, and the other of marking time or measuring time, which happens in physics, and also in dance. But over the years, I was thinking about all these things. And somehow, all this came, I thought, you know, am I thinking about the right things and all? And suddenly, this came together for me in a most unusual place in Geneva in Switzerland, where we have a Shiva Nataraja statue at the particle laboratory at CERN. So this was very unusual for me that 2004, that particle physicists thought that it was relevant to place one of the most iconic images of Indian dance, Nataraja figure, in the CERN laboratory. So and why? And some of the physicists, and also one of the famous uh, uh, writers of Tao of Physics has said that the metaphor of the cosmic dance is shown through this Shiva Nataraja figure. I'll just take some time to explain this. So as you can see, Shiva is in his dynamic posture of dancing or Tandava. In his right hand, he holds the Damaru, which marks time and also is the sound of creation. So on one hand, he is holding the creation, the start. And in the other hand, he holds the fire. So creation and destruction are balanced through this cosmic dance. So, this idea of creating and destroying is also reflected in particle physics, where, as you might have read, that particles are constantly created and destroyed at the subatomic level. So this is why they thought it relevant to place this statue where they are now studying you know, particle physics at more deeper levels. And of course, where this Nataraja statue comes from is in a place in South India, in, uh, in a state of Tamil Nadu, there is a temple, Chidambaram. Chit is the inner self, and Ambaram is the Akasha, or the sky. So it's the dance of Shiva in the soul of the devotee. So though it's visually represented there, we can see, and every year, during the festival of Shiva in March, uh, there are dance festivals held in this temple where they celebrate this dance. 
And if you go to the temple, another unusual thing about stillness and motion. You see that Shiva is visually dancing and you can see his dynamic posture. But when you go into the temple and if you are a devotee, as you enter the sanctum, you see the visual image of Nataraja, but you are also asked to see the secret of Chidambaram. In a window right next to the sanctum sanctorum, you are asked to look into a window and say, look at Nataraja. But when, as a devotee, I peep into this window, I see nothing. So that means here is a dynamic imagery of Lord Shiva at the same time that they, they are also telling you this imagery also means nothing or somewhat similar to the black hole. So there is this imagery and there is this black hole in which you are supposed to look and find your own self. This slide may puzzle you as to why race car drivers are similar to Bharatanatyam dancers. This, this is actually a picture of my student sitting here and she is showing a posture which is very common to Bharatanatyam. It's called the Arai Mandi, which is the folded leg posture. But why is this similar, I thought, to race car driving? Just a practical demonstration. We do our steps in Indian dance, say did did say, did did say, and you can go fast. But suppose I had to move, I would be moving very slowly across this place. So what they thought of was, what if we bring down the center of gravity? So from here, I go here. So even in speed, I can cover larger spaces. So, I can move across faster if I lower my center of gravity. So, that is how even with the body, we have worked out some method of increasing acceleration and like a race car is built lower to the ground to increase its speed, we also in Bharatanatyam go across very swiftly because of this basic posture. Next is measuring time or marking time. In dance, in Indian classical dance, we see time as being cyclical. That is, the past, the present and the future are all seen in one dilated instant. So, we see it as cyclical rather than moving from A to B, like time does not start from A and ends at B, but it is all cyclical. So, ta ka dhi mi, ta ka jhanu, ta ka dhi mi, ta ka jhanu, ta ka ta dhi mi, ta ka dhi mi, ta ka jhanu, ta ka dhi mi, ta ka jhanu, ta ka dhi mi, ta ka jhanu, ta ka dhi mi, ta ka dhi mi, ta ka jhanu, ta ka dhi mi, ta ka dhi mi, ta ka jhanu, ta ka ta dhi mi. So, we see it as a cyclical beat. So, in some ways seeing the past, present and the future nicely put in one dilated instant rather than going from A to B. So, that is another thing and we measure time through symbols, these beats, Natuva Talam and to finally conclude my talk. I would like to put all this in a small demonstration. This is a small piece from the repertoire of Kuchipudi, which is a classical dance style from Andhra Pradesh. And here you will see the balancing of the dancer on the dance on a plate and doing it to cyclical time. It's called Tarangam, balance, motion and time.